Hello friends and welcome back. It has been a while and I'm so glad to be back in here again with this guitar that I've been meaning to do a video on for so long because this is another of the standouts in Paul Reed Smith's SE line. This is the SE Mira. And if y'all know the story of Paul, you're probably very familiar with the fact that his original guitars and the versions that eventually turned into the Custom 24 were his attempts to modernize his favorite Les Paul. I believe it was a 1957 that he thought was the most perfect playing guitar he'd ever had in his hands. And that was the direction he went. This model, the Mira, was a little bit, I won't call it an afterthought, but it was during the period when Joe Nags was part of the design team. And I know the Starla, this Mira, perhaps the Vela as well, couldn't swear to that one, but that came about with some collaboration with Joe Nags. And having another mind in the mix is always a good thing because this feels more like an attempt to modernize an SG. So what do we got? We have a very thin mahogany slab body, mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard. So, so far we're in familiar territory. And of course the double cutaways. One of the other interesting things about this is this was the first and I believe still the only of the PRS guitars that have uh, electronics mounted to the scratch plate. I like this guitar. It has a very different sound um, and in particular the 8515S pickups that they use in here. Um, I think they're great pickups but I've always liked them a little bit better in their all mahogany body guitars rather than the maple capped ones. Um, I just think there's something about the mahogany that tames a little bit of that mid-range and even though they're still, you know, modern voiced high output pickups, puts them a little bit in that classic rock range, makes them a little bit darker, and I tend to gravitate toward the dark side. I can't help it. The bridge on here has to be talked about because this is the PRS adjustable wraparound stop tailpiece, the same one that they use in their USA made guitars. And I absolutely love it. Um, for a low mass tailpiece, still with full capabilities of intonation. I mean, it's just a killer design. And on top of that, the tones that you just heard in here, these were all the full humbucker. And as with a lot of Paul Reed Smith guitars, you always grab that tone knob and see if it does something. Aha, I heard it click. That means that once again, we've got coil split capabilities on here. I'm going to hit them real quick with the dirty sound I've got up and then we'll take a listen to everything on here clean because this is a pretty sweet guitar. Okay, here is the bridge coil split. <laughs> do that. Uh, but doesn't that sound, uh, okay, that is very nice. And at times the coil splits can sound a little bit thin, brittle. On this mahogany body, I mean, I really like that. Okay, middle position here. Okay, that's got some fatness in there. It's still getting that definition from the bridge pickup. Let's go up to the neck and see what we've got here. Nice. Now, for as dirty of a sound as I've got up on here, that's some pretty good definition without getting into the mud. Um, 
whereas in the humbucking mode, it's pretty dark. <laughs> But still, very nice. A uh, little bit of a P90 flavor to that, actually. I'm thinking Les Paul Jr. But anyway, this is a killer guitar. Um, typical 25-inch PRS scale on here. 22, uh, pretty sure these medium jumbos on here. That's what they appear to be and feel like. 10-inch uh, radius on here. And of course, the wide, thin neck profile. And I don't know, I guess I really have always liked this wide, thin neck profile from PRS. Uh, I can't say it's my absolute favorite because I do love their asymmetrical carve from the, the uh, what do you call it? Pattern Vintage, yeah, that's probably my all-time favorite. But this is very nice. And when they say wide, thin, it's not that wide, it's not that thin. Think of vintage 60s thin neck carves, and you're going to be in the pocket of this. It's a very, very familiar feel. Um, it is not you know, in the realm of wizard or any of these. It's got a great width to fill your hand up while giving you plenty of room for your fingers to move around. Very nice profile on here. Um, all around, just another standout. And I've got to say, aesthetically, I like this guitar more in the SE line than I did in the S2 line. Um, some people were big fan of the wide bevels on the bodies of the S2s, and they've softened that a bit, taken a little bit more toward the edge. Just to me, it's, it just works better. I love this. I love the fact that they've got it down, far down. I won't talk price here. Give the guys a call. It's very surprising far down as far as the SE price points um, and incredible value for that money. Uh, great tuners, they got the PRS design tuners on here. Beautiful wood all the way around. Gorgeous finish on here that is very reminiscent of a lot of the guitars that I think inspired this. But it is unique. It's another one of those guitars in the PRS lineup that if the mainstream PRSs aren't necessarily in your wheelhouse, check this out. Uh, the Mira and the Starla have just blown me away in the SE line. Uh, I think they found their home. They're going to be very popular guitars. So, yeah, you got to check these out. Let's take a quick listen to some clean sounds on here, and then I'm going to get out of y'all's hair. Okay, uh, we'll start on the bridge, humbucker, clean. Very nice. Coil tapped. And then both pickups together. Nice. Okay, coil split. Okay, and then up to the neck. Okay, 
split. Okay, very nice. Now, kind of the opposite of my impression when we had it on the Dirty Channel. Uh, this is a... Very nice mid-range forward neck pickup sound on there. Dark, but not muddy at all. Um, split. Very chimey, but it thins out just a little bit. Um, so, you know, in, in clean, man, I'm really digging this. Whereas in the dirtier sound, I like that neck pickup when it was split. That's the reason they give you such a wide variety of sounds in these guitars. But definitely, check this one out. If it's not been on your radar, get it on your radar. The SE Mira from Paul Reed Smith. And if you got questions about this guitar or any other guitar that we have, or any other guitar in general, or if you just want to call up and talk about, you know, who's the coolest guitarist or who's got the best amp, anything like that, we've got the amps, we got the pedals, we got the guitars, and our sales staff here has the knowledge of all of it that is unsurpassed in this business. So give them a call, keep following us on Facebook and on YouTube, and until next time, y'all continue to stay safe and see you soon.